Hello, my name is Allie James, and today I'm going to be taking you through the steps of setting up your tattoo machine and training you on how to use it. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we're going to take the machine out and establish what size needle and tube we're going to need. I've selected a lining machine to outline the tattoo. Other tattoo machines include fine lining, shading, and coloring. These each have different uses. For the outline of our tattoo, we want a machine that is made for smaller lines. Our tube is going to correspond with the needle size we'll need. For smaller lines, you select a smaller number. For instance, the back of the package says 3RT, which is going to be a thinner line than a 5 or 7RT. I'm going to select a 5 so it'll show up well, and then also grab a 5RL needle. Now I take the 5RT plastic piece and put it through my metal tube. It'll stop on its own because of this little plastic hitch, and then I just want to secure it. So I grab an allied wrench, put it in this tiny little hole, and twist it. I do the same on the other side. Now that it's secure, I can slide my needle in. I grab my 5RL needle from the package and carefully slide it into the tube. Now I can connect this entire piece to my tattoo machine. So I want to take the back of the tube and slide it through this hole until it reaches the larger part of the tube. Then I grab one of these colorful nipples and place it in the hole of the needle so it protects the machine while it's running, and now I can place it over the knob. You want to make sure you adjust your tube so that the needle is resting right at the edge of it, then you can tighten it. Now we connect our power supply by just plugging the box into the wall. Next, we plug our foot pedal into the box and clamp these two metal pieces onto these small holes in the tattoo machine. Now we turn our power supply on. For a lining machine, we want to keep it right around 9 volts. Now if everything is connected properly, when we push down on the foot pedal, the machine will begin to buzz. If it doesn't work, make sure your screw is just barely touching the metal piece on your machine. Let's try that again. Ah, now it's working. Now let's take out our ink holders. These will slide around when you use them, so it's a good idea to secure them with petroleum jelly. A little bit of ink goes a long way, just a few drops to begin with. Here I have some fake skin, but bananas and honeydew are also cheap and effective ways to practice your tattooing on skin-like surfaces. Now, when it comes to actually beginning your tattoo, I want to remind you to not push down too hard. Soft lines are more effective and less painful. Pushing down too hard will cause your lines to blow out. You want to hold the machine at around a 45 degree angle. Not holding the machine properly will result in unstable and choppy lines. Additionally, do not repetitively go over lines up and down. Slow and steady lines are good, but the slower the line does not necessarily mean it will be a steady line. It's important to find your pace through practice. Now when it comes to cleaning up, be sure that you wash everything, dispose of your needles and plastic equipment, and sanitize your tattoo machine. Also, it's best to use green soap to wash the skin before and after the tattoo. Clorox wipes also work to wipe away excess ink. Always keep paper towels handy. Wash your hands and equipment anytime you switch machines or needles, even if it's the same person. Also make sure to wear gloves for both sanitary and safety reasons. Alright, thank you for watching this video on setting up and using tattoo machines. I'm Allie James.